Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Corsair XMS 4000 Pro dual channel memory. The speed on this memory is 500 MHz DDR or PC4000 and has a CS of 3. Now what does DDR and CS mean? DDR stands for double data rate and that means it doubles the bandwidth of the memory by transferring data twice as fast on both the rising and the falling of a clock cycle. CES stands for column access select and that essentially means a number of cycles for the memory to get information and then process that information. Also keep in mind that a lower CES is much better than a higher CES. For example, a CES of 2 will result in better memory performance than 2.5 or 3. So try and keep the CES as low as possible when overclocking. This memory is also dual channel, which means better overall memory bandwidth resulting in superior performance. In order to benefit from this technology, you will need to have a dual channel motherboard. Non-dual channel motherboards do not have two fully independent 64-bit memory controllers, but dual channel boards do, which means they have a 128-bit memory interface. While this memory will work in non-dual channel motherboards, the overall performance will be less at the same megahertz. This product is one gigabyte of total memory. It consists of two matched 512 megabyte memory sticks. The timings on this memory are 3, 4, 4, and 8 at 500 megahertz DDR. This product does have heat spacers which are thermally bonded to the module and that's going to help with heat dissipation at the very high megahertz. Now you'll notice that when you compare this memory to memory like this which does not have that heat spacer it's much thicker and taller and at the top here of this memory is something very distinctive. You have 18 activity LEDs and to see what these LEDs look like let me just go ahead and turn the system on At its default speed of 500 MHz DDR, the Psi Software Sandra memory result is 5,823. And when overclocked to 540 MHz DDR, the result is 6,391. This product performs very well, it's stable, and is highly overclockable. And let's not forget those cool LEDs. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop on my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go to the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. Until the next time, take care.